And today, once again, <laughs> food tour. Hi, we're Jeff and Angela and we're Pure Detour. This summer, we are island hopping the Dalmatian coast of Croatia. Okay, so Angela is losing her shit right now. Like, how awesome is this? We walked past it. It is the Split Spring Gourmet Fair. A ton of, like, gourmet uh, food stands. Uh, I can't wait to go and check it out. We didn't eat breakfast, so we can go pig out. Let's go. stand is this place called Mazgoon. We've actually eaten at their actual restaurant that they have there in the old town and the food is fantastic. Uh, we have ordered a Adriatic tuna sandwich with wasabi creme fraiche and daikon and also a local, our local Croatian craft beer. Can't wait to try it. This is a big sandwich. It's got super rare seared tuna, a seaweed salad, and a wasabi cream. Let's see if I can shove this in my mouth. Oh. oh wow. So that like rare pink tuna, that seaweed salad adds like a little bit of crunchiness and saltiness and that wasabi cream is amazing. Jeff's not getting any of this. That <laughs> awesome. Mazgoon tuna sandwich, out of this world, amazing. First Croatian craft beer, also extremely fantastic. Let's go jump into something else here. Next up on the list is a place called Shu. This is a venison, goat cheese, and gnocchi bowl that looks awesome, and another split craft beer. Wow. <laughs> we just finished up there at Shug, that venison stew with gnocchi, goat cheese, like unbelievable. One of the best things I've ever eaten in my entire life. We would love to film more as we're eating, but there's big speakers in there. It's a beer garden. It's a party. Right now they're playing an orchestral version of Despacito. I don't know what that's about, so we came over here to film. Yeah, at that place there, flicking awesome. So honestly, we are two meals in. We've shared them both and we are already full. But we feel it's our duty to you, our viewers, to keep eating so we can show you more. You're welcome. Next place up is a place called Corto Maltese, and we have ordered another beer and a bao with lamb confit and coleslaw. Shredded lamb looks so good. Puffy little bao bun. Oh wow, that's good. The bun is the bun is like so puffy, like you'd expect a bao bun to be. Tangy, tangy coleslaw. Fall apart lamb, amazing. Just inside the city walls, we found this place called Ouya Oil Bar. I'm gonna sit down, have something nice to eat, and a bottle of Croatian wine. So this area of Croatia is very well known for its olives, specifically the green ones. So a lot of really great olive oil comes from here as well, but we got this green olive house-made tapenade. Let's give that a shot. 
the best tapenade I've ever had in my life. It's got that tangy green olive zing. That's amazing. You can taste the freshness of the olives in the tapenade. It's out of this world. It's delicious. This pasta. Uh, so it's got these noodles that are very famous here in Croatia. They actually come from the island of Korsula. They take the pasta dough and they kind of wrap it around a small stick. So there's like a little bit of a hole in the middle. And like you can tell right just by looking at this that it is homemade. It's in a tomato sauce with smoked mussels octopus and shrimp and it's got these like crunchy little parmesan crisps on top of it let's give this a shot okay so the mussels are smoked and it gives like this beautiful smoky flavor to the whole dish like you have this like beautiful smoky tomato sauce a little bit of a seafoody taste like, this is amazing and i have here a bull's tail which you guys saw me eat a lot in Spain, and it's one of my favorite things ever. And a big bowl of polenta. Let's give this a little go. Oh, look at that fatty little piece there. Oh, it's all super fatty. The polenta is perfect. The oxtail, super flavorful. This is awesome. One thing I've come to accept is that inevitably when we come to a restaurant, I always want what Jeff has ordered more than what I have ordered, which I don't know why that always happens. This time is not the case. I am in love with this pasta. So I've eaten all the pasta and I've sopped up all the sauce with the bread because this is literally the best pasta I've ever had in my entire life. We've been to Italy, we've been to Naples, we've been to Rome. We had really, really good pasta there, but this is absolutely the best plate of pasta I've ever had in my life. I, honestly, I could eat more. It's that good. So tonight was just one of those nights. Like This is part of the reason we travel, right? Uh, we left the house, left the Airbnb with the intention of going to one restaurant. It didn't work out, so we just accidentally stumbled upon literally one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. Yeah, absolutely awesome food there. Cannot recommend that place enough. One stracciatella and one honey walnut. Bye-bye, good night. One of my favorite things always about visiting Croatia when I was a little kid is slatoled. Uh, it's ice cream, it's very much in the gelato Italian style. I got honey and walnut. Oh, so good. Okay, so I've just got a stracciatella here, which is vanilla and chocolate basically. But it's the first ice cream I've had in quite some time now, so yeah. this is fantastic. We are starting off our morning with breakfast at a place called St. Burek. Uh, if you've never had Burek before, it's really common to uh, the Balkans as well as Greece, and it's like a filo dough stuffed with something. Today we got one stuffed with cheese, one stuffed with meat, and then for dessert, breakfast dessert is important, uh, one stuffed with apples. Let's give it a shot. cheese nice salty cheese inside there the outer layers are very crisp but the inside layers are really like tender and a little bit chewy that is amazing and this is a meat borek I've never had a borek before so let's give it a go as much as I love my sweets I'm really digging the savory things that I'm getting for breakfast around the world here So this is apple bread. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a shrew. I took too big of a bite. Just like an apple strudel? Uh, it's really good though. I think we ordered too much food. Those cheese and meat bodecks were extremely filling, but we have to have a bite of this apple one. Mm. 
That's good. So we had to throw in the towel and bring most of the apple burek to go because the meat and the cheese ones were so filling. Yeah, but we're starting off on a good foot here. Breakfast was fantastic. See what else we can get into. We continue to eat our way through Split. Um, yesterday we were here at this same uh, gourmet food market yep. that they're having here uh, and we saw oysters on one particular place's menu. We went up and ordered them and they said, sorry, they're actually out harvesting them right now. Come back tomorrow. So we went back today, uh, had a nice crisp Croatian right, white wine, right wine. Nice crisp Croatian white wine and uh, five oysters each. And what was your favorite? They were amazing. So fresh. So fresh. The saltiness of them, they were delicious. Uh, one thing about the oysters from here, because the Mediterranean is a little bit saltier than the Atlantic yep. where we're used to having oysters from or the Pacific, that they have this very like salty sea taste. Yeah, very briny flavor to them, yeah. but they were awesome. Delicious. We just finished at uh, a stand called Jungle Beats. Yep. And they had, uh, what is it here, a traditional fish stew. It's called brodetto. And in this one, they had octopus, and then they served it alongside these beans, as well as little uh, crispy polenta, polenta cubes. Yep. Uh, amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. The owner was so sweet. He made me play a game at the bar that I could not lose, and as a reward, gave us two shots of a delicious mint aperitif and uh, uh, Chocolate raviolis stuffed with some fruit compote type thing with this orange sauce that you dipped him in. Holy shit, awesome. Amazing. <laughs> All of those uh, places that we tried in there actually have like a main sit down restaurant in the city and many of those were on our list and a lot of those dishes were on our list for the things yep. we had to try here in Split. So we were very lucky to be able to try them all in one place in that gorgeous park uh, with all those craft beers. Very cool. Amazing. So if you happen to be in Split in the springtime, uh, definitely do check that out. Hey, we are having lunch at a place called Konoba Matejuska. Uh, Konoba is a traditional Croatian restaurant. Uh, it translates to tavern and we're gonna be having some uh, Dalmatian classic dishes. Of course, with its long Adriatic coastline, uh, Dalmatia is famous for seafood, so I got this gorgeous, gorgeous tuna steak. But what I'm actually really excited about here is something uh, that is a typical side dish, especially for seafood, and it's called blitva. And, you know, maybe it doesn't look really good on camera. Uh, it's, it's greens, often kale or mangold or chard, mostly chard, sorry, not kale. Um, mixed with a little bit of potatoes and uh, doused, of course, in the gorgeous local olive oil. Something that my grandma used to make for me when I was young, so I absolutely love it. And just the, the olive oil on it is so amazing. I love this dish so much. And this is macaroni. This is the homemade noodles that they make here in the region. And this is with a steak and a truffle sauce on it. Okay, we're going with just a piece of steak to start. And a noodle. That's awesome. I don't know if you guys have ever had truffles before, but this is out of this world phenomenal. This is great. And this gorgeous tuna steak, uh, very simply prepared, doused in lemon. Let's give it a shot. So perfect, so simple. Delicious.
wraps up our lunch at Konobo Mate Yuska, and it was amazing. And the thing about the food from this region, the Dalmatian food, it's not an internationally renowned cuisine. You don't see Dalmatian restaurants all over the world. Yeah, it's, and every time we come here, the local food here just blows us away. Let's see what we can get into next. So we are headed now for dinner to grab like a nice casual food that is super popular in the area. And people say that this place makes the best in Split. Let's go get some chivabe. So this here is chivape or chivaptuchi. It comes in a bread called lepinya bread. And they also put raw onions, a pepper spread called ivan, and there's some cheese in this one as well. Chivape uh, is something that is common to a lot of the regions here in the Balkans. Um, and every kind of region has their own recipe, their own way of making it. Different mix of meats, different shape or size, uh, but it's all very similar. And everyone kind of agrees that it comes from the Ottoman influence in this area because it is very similar to the Ottoman kofta. So Angela brought me to Croatia for the first time back in 2019. When she first told me about this, I made fun of her because it just sounded bizarre. But then when I got here to Croatia and I tried this, it quickly became one of my favorite things. So I'm kind of excited to try the best one and split. So let's go. Yeah, this is absolutely amazing. The Ivar is delicious, the onions on it. So the chivape, which is the meat inside of here, are uh, a mixture of meats that are shaped into like a little sausage shape and then grilled and then popped into this bread with all this delicious stuff. Let's give this a shot. The bread is extremely like puppy and delicious. The meat is like grilled and smoky flavor and it's just set off by those onions and that pepper paste. It's really good. You really couldn't ask for a more picturesque location to enjoy a chihuahua and some beers. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. Yeah, it's a great spot to enjoy the Croatian food. Uh, if you have ever been to Croatia or you've tried Croatian food, leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to see what we eat next. Bye. Cheers.